The next one here is an oldie but goodie. And for any of you patients or people who have seen our old video, this is from our old video. And it really is one of my favorite stretches for the neck. Um, it's very important though that it's done slow and you don't, if it's not done properly, you can really irritate the neck. Almost anyone can do it. Very, very good for whiplash patients, anything like that. But the, our demonstration, you just have to do it slow in the stretch because of the neck. So like Dr. Neal said, there's a few steps involved in this, but it's not one of our advanced athlete stretches. So once you learn it, it's actually pretty easy. So just hit the rewind a couple times or shoot into the office and we'll demonstrate. So we're actually going to do four different movements. And on each movement, we're going to sit on the hand that we're stretching or on the side that we're stretching. So right now we're going to stretch the right side. So uh, Jane's going to sit and I sit palm up on it. And what that's going to do is lock in the shoulder. So we're now going to do two stretches and both times will be on this side. So she's going to use her hand on the other side to do the stretch. We're going to look towards and then look away. So first we're going to look towards and then the stretch is on every single one of these. The line is from shoulder to shoulder. So make sure you're not stretching forward or backwards. You just want to go shoulder to shoulder and you're going to use this hand. You're not just going to bring your neck over. And it's a stretch. It's not a heavy, quick pull, which is important. A lot of people will pull too fast. So it's a stretch on that. So using this hand, she's just going to pull right there. And right there, I can actually feel we're starting to hit right in the back of the trap area. And the reason for sitting on this arm, if she didn't sit on this arm, as she pulled, she would be this would just, nothing would be holding this down. So you really want to be sitting on the side that you're stretching. So you're going to sit again, turn towards, use this arm and the line is straight shoulder to shoulder. We're not going down or back. So first look towards, stretch, and then you're going to look away. So look all the way away and then stretch. And you're going to feel a total different uh, muscle getting stretched here. So that's two. The other two are just on the other side. So let's demonstrate. Go ahead and sit on that side, palm down. So you're going to look towards, and using this arm, we're going to bring straight this way. One mistake I see people make is they might, like what she's doing, grabbing the top of the head. Don't be too embarrassed. Just grab your entire head, give it a good stretch, and then you're going to look away. And then go ahead and grab all the way down. And make sure you're not bringing it down this way. You're just going straight side to side. So it's just sit on the side you're stretching, towards, stretch, away, stretch, and the other side, towards, stretch, away, stretch. So there's a few steps, but it's actually pretty simple once you get it down. And it's a lot more effective than uh, a lot of uh, offices will recommend something like just pulling like this. And as you can see, my arm's coming up. And I'm only yeah, sort yeah, of stretching. That locking is important. And the turning your head towards and away, it's going to really isolate the trap versus the, the SCM musculature.